Hey, Lance Egan here with Fly Fish Food. I want to show you one of my favorite nymphs, a uh, little bit overlooked color option. You've probably heard of the Thread Frenchie. The original was tied in olive. This time we're going to tie one in black. This fly can be fished on a Euro rig, can be fished on an indicator rig, can be fished as a dropper below a dry. Really effective and just a new color option of the Thread Frenchie. Let's get tying. All right, let's get building this black thread Frenchie. So I've started out with a jig hook in the vise. Any of your favorite jig hook would work. This is the Umqua X series and the XC400 and a 16. We do these in 14s, 12, 16, 18, whatever you want. Then I've got a uh, three millimeter tungsten bead on this one. You could use any brand of slotted tungsten bead to get over the jig hook, or even if you're tying it on a hook that's not a jig, a standard tungsten bead would also do the trick. We're going to use 70 denier black thread. Again, any th thin black thread would work just fine. I'm going to start the thread just behind the bead here. Get rid of the excess. Work down the shank. And as you might expect with a thread Frenchie, this is going to be a simple one. We're going to take some Coque de Leon and tie us in a tail. Measure that up. Tie it in. And all the time, while, while I'm wrapping the thread, I'm basically building the body as well. So I'm trying to keep it relatively uniform. Next up, we're going to add some wire. This is the March brown color in 0.2 of the Semperfly wire. It's kind of a brownish olive colored wire. I'm going to capture that right in the back of the slot and then wrap it down the shank. Almost to the tail. If you go right to the tail when you make your first wrap of wire it often splits the tail. Let's see if I succeeded here but I tried to go just shy. Yep I made it just shy of the tail so it doesn't move my tail around. Then we're just going to rib the fly with the wire just spacing out wraps. Three or four turns is usually plenty. Capture it behind the bead. I oftentimes tie these pretty short. You could tie that tail down the shank a little further if you'd like but I tend to like mine short that way they fish a little smaller per size of hook. So I wiggle off the wire. We're really simple and easy so far. I'm just going to add some resin. You could use Loon Flow. You could use Solar Res Bone Dry. You could use Gulf, any of the, whatever your favorite resin is. I've borrowed Cheech's resin here, as you can see, because he's got all kinds of other nonsense. There's like red dubbing fibers and all kinds of crap in the middle of that brush. Cheech, you got to take better care of your brush, but it'll work for what we want to do. So I've just added a tiny bit of resin basically to make the fly a little bit more durable. Um, I don't want so much that it's encased in resin. I want just a little bit so I can still see the ridges in the uh, wire. I want it to still look a little bit segmented. And I'm just going to cure it with the UV light. This is the Loon Infinity light. This is my go-to. It's not the most expensive. It's not the most powerful. It's somewhere in the middle, but it does a really good job. Still very powerful and uh, cures very, very well. Okay, next up, we're gonna add a little bit of dubbing, a little hot spot. So this is Hen's Spectra dubbing in color number 94. Um, you can see maybe that side a little better. It's basically a bright orange dubbing. And we're gonna add just a tiny bit of this. Now, a lot of folks stop in the shop and tell me with Frenchies and Thread Frenchies that they struggle to make the hot spots. And that's usually because they grab a big pinch of dubbing. <clears throat> This would tie like three or four more flies. You don't need very much dubbing. Tiny amounts of dubbing, uh, whether you're using ice dub, spectra, whatever it is, dub it on there nice and tight. And we're just going to build a little collar right behind the bead. Really straightforward, really easy, really simple, quick tie. We're going to whip finish behind the bead and pull tight on the thread. Get rid of the excess and we're all done. We have the black thread Frenchie. This is another pattern you could do in lots of colors. We've already shown you the olive thread Frenchie. This is a black one. We do one in brown. You can do them in all kinds of color combinations. This has been a proven one for me. Again, you could fish it on a nymph rig uh, with an indicator, with a Euro rig, or a dry and a dropper. Super quick, super easy, super durable, the black thread Frenchie.